Great. Hi, everybody. Uh, James Quinn, CEO of Ferradian Technology. For a little show and tell here, I'll tell you about in a moment. Uh, Gerard said it really good this morning. We need to not only change the way we do things, we need to change the way we build things. And Ferradian was founded to find a technology beyond lithium. So develop a, a battery technology that's more sustainable, that's safer, and lower cost. And what we focus on is sodium ion, battery technology, we're in production, we're generating revenue. And what we've done is we've replaced the lithium with sodium, we've replaced the graphite with hard carbon, and we replaced the copper with aluminum. aluminum. And so I think what I'll try to do is set the stage, if I can, uh, to explain a little bit about the technology. Sodium and lithium are very comparable. Uh, there's a lot of similarities between them. We manufacture it on the exact same equipment. So our cell manufacturing partners produce lithium iron phosphate, NMC technology on the exact same equipment as they produce sodium iron. So it's highly differentiated, but not disruptive from a chemistry standpoint. We stand on the shoulders of lithium ion technology. So all of the know-how, all of the integration, all of the expertise is already embedded in our cells. But the difference is with, uh, with lithium, it takes around two million liters of water to mine one ton of lithium, which is enough for 90 cars. And so there's a real sustainability issue if you look at the way everything is going in towards EV and into home energy storage, there's going to be a real environmental challenge. Sodium technology is essentially table salt, sodium chloride. It's not limited to any particular regions like lithium, which is primarily limited to three countries worldwide. Sodium is available in, in most every region. Uh, it's a thousand times more plentiful in the earth than lithium. And if you look at the demand for lithium, it will far exceed the supply. And so there's a real challenge. Lithium prices have gone up about 137% since January of last year. And, and, you know, there's a real challenge in that. With sodium ion technology, we have no lithium, we have sodium. We have no copper. We use aluminum. Copper is about three to four times more expensive than aluminum. So we have price stability. We have a more sustainable technology and it's lower cost. There's a little provocative uh, image here. Maybe everybody has seen uh, the, the fire in Melbourne a few weeks ago from the Tesla facility there. One cell caught on fire. It was 45 million cells that ignited the neighbor cells. You have a thermal runaway propagation. You don't have that with sodium ion. Sodium ion uses a very high flashpoint electrolyte, low volatility. There's no copper to dissolve and catch fire. So it's a safer technology from that respect. The other thing with lithium is, you know, when you get a new iPhone and you take it out of the box, you always, uh, it, it's already, you can use it right away. And that's not for your convenience or your, your, you know, as a consumer. It's because it always has to have a state of charge. With sodium ion, if you take a look at this, we can short the cells here. We can completely discharge all of the energy to zero volt, which makes it safer for transportation, for storage, uh, to recycle it, you can bring it into a recyclable center completely at discharge at zero volt. So it's a much safer technology as well. And that zero volt, we have a patent on that worldwide. We have a patent on that in China. And we're not alone anymore. So Ferradian started championing sodium ion technology about 10 years ago. And we're now delivering product and commercializing the technology. CATL a few weeks ago announced by 2023 they're going to go into sodium ion technology. China imports over 80% of its lithium. They see the challenge with it. Because it's so compatible, you can put lithium and sodium in the same pack. And this releases the demand on lithium to be able to, to use sodium ion technology. So it's a really unique capability. And as I said, Ferradian's been shipping the product. We, um, we, we already have over uh, 13 megawatt orders. Already, already booked. We have licensed partners. We have four cell manufacturing partners. We have uh, licensees that are manufacturing the materials. Hydrotopsos, one of our, ca uh, our cathode manufacturers, they're here today working with Philips 66. So we have a whole ecosystem of partners here. The team, really quickly, we have uh, Herman from Sonin. Uh, he's our CTO. He's joined Herman the German. 
uh, and Chris was one of the founders of IP Group. So markets, it's all energy storage. So if it's big, heavy, stand still, move slow. Sorry about my voice here, I'm, I'm losing my voice. If it's big, heavy, stand still, move slow. It's been a good technology. So telecom, residential, utility, all of that energy storage, low speed electric vehicles, forklifts, et cetera. But we're now moving into passenger EVs. And so we're engaged with one of the top five battery companies worldwide for automotive. And we see this technology will be deployed in the next few years. And this is a million mile battery. This is a chemistry we'll be deploying next year. It's called Whetstone. Uh, and this will be able to fully charge your battery in 15 minutes. Uh, our business model is Fab Light. So we, we're not building gigafactories. We work with partners to scale up the technology, but we deliver the product to the customers to stay close to the, the use cases. And we're upcoming on a Series B round. Uh, there's still a little bit of room for it if you have some appetite and can move fast. Thank you very much.